Peter Arnold is Crone J. Commonly known as Pete Cronje was a general of the South African Republic's military forces during the Anglo-Boer Wars of 1880-1881 and 1899-1902. Born in the Cape Colony but raised in the South African Republic, Cronje made his reputation in the First Boer War, besieging the British garrison at Poshefstrom. He had a distinctive appearance, being short with a black beard and was reputed to have considerable personal courage. He was in command of the force that rounded up Jameson at Dawnkop at the conclusion of the Jameson raid on 2 January 1896, which is traditionally seen as a precursor to the Second Boer War. During the Second Boer War Cronje was general commanding in the Western Theatre of War. He began the sieges of Kimberley and Mafeking. At Mafeking, with a force between 2,000 and 6,000 he laid siege against 1,200 regular troops and militia under the command of Colonel Robert Baden-Powell. After Lord Methuen attempted to relieve the siege of Kimberley, Crone J fought the Battle of Modder River on 28 November 1899, where the British won a Pyrrhic victory over the Boers. Cronje's novel Tactics at the Modder River, where his infantry were positioned at the base of the hills instead of at the tops earned him a place in military history. However the tactics ascribed to him were not his own, he was convinced by General Cus de la Rey and President M.T. Stain. After Modder River, Cronje repulsed Methuen's forces at the Battle of Magas Fontaine on of December 1899. This was actually due to Cus de la Rey's tactics and planning. Cronje sat in camp not doing much fighting or planning. Cronje was a nutritionist and did not see the value in maneuver battles. He was defeated at the Battle of Paderberg where he surrendered with 4,150 of his commandos on 27 February 1900 after being enveloped by Lord Robert's forces. The commanding officer of the 3rd Battalion, the Grenadier Guards, Lt. Carl Aircrab was surprised to find that Cronje had been accompanied on campaign by his wife. After his surrender, he and his wife were imprisoned as a prisoner of war in St. Helena Island where he remained until the conclusion of peace negotiations in 1902. Or morale sank after his defeat, with the capital of the Orange Free State, Bloemfontein, being taken without a shot being fired. Accompanied by his wife, Hester, he was sent to St. Helena prisoner of war camp where he remained until the end of the war. He was humiliated and shunned by the other Boer generals, and ridiculed in the press. He was never asked to the peace talks at Varinajing. He took part in the World Fair reenactments of the Anglo-Boer War at St. Louis in 1904. Dubbed of Circus General by the South African press, he failed to return home, but instead joined a show on Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York.